Hi you guys, I'm gonna work on tattooing my permanent eyeliner today and it's not a good idea for most people to do but I'm confident in my abilities to do it. So right now I've just numbed my eyes for quite some time, maybe 30 minutes and I'm just gonna wipe the numbing off and get started after I take my before photos. So this is usually the process that we do uh, in shop as well is numb first then take some pictures and then start as soon as possible so that the numbing doesn't go away Let's see what this feels like some of my clients say it's just the worst thing that's ever happened to them and some of my clients make it seem like it's okay and yeah, no, i've never had it done so we're gonna see so we're ready to go Not bad. Like it doesn't feel nice, but it's not what I expected. Quick cleanup of this ink. I just try to work really tight. But to tell you the truth, I'm really not in pain yet. So we'll see. Give it a clean. See what I've done. And like I said, I'm not I'm not in pain. I think I might be more in pain if somebody else was doing it to me. Sorry. Let's see if it's texting. Okay. Just trying to remove all of that ink. Also, the reason why I'm doing it to myself, because I could have somebody else do it for me, but the reason I'm opting to do it myself is because uh, when you do this, you can't wear makeup for at least a week. And I, um, I always wear makeup for what I do. So this is the best time for me to do it. can feel it a little bit more now that I'm going like on the top of my lashes. But I'm not in pain. And uh, I tinted my eyelashes this week so that I wouldn't be bothered about not wearing makeup because not wearing any eye makeup especially does really bother me I'm blonde blue eyes I need I need a little bit of makeup but I'll do it for this because this will stay with me for a lot longer this eye is looking a little bit beat up. I want that swelling to come right now, so I'm going to pop some numbing gel on it, and I'm going to work on my other eye, and then I'm going to come back. But to be honest, I'm happy with how this is looking, and I'm glad I decided to do it. This eye is still numb. I'm wiping this on with the applicator, and I can't feel much, so that's really good. Okay, let's see.
So obviously this is risky and I would not recommend doing this if you weren't a professional in some way. However, uh, for me, I'm, I'm confident in my hand. I have a very steady hand. And I've done much worse to myself in the past. When I was a teenager, I used to pierce up my whole face and body. Like every piercing just about I padded except for a septum. So I'm actually, I'm not afraid of needles, but I would be if somebody else was doing this to me. And to be honest, you have a surprising amount of control. Uh, if you're a permanent makeup artist, you know, you know. Uh, and kind of like anything I'm not comfortable with doing, I'm not gonna do so. You'll notice I'm not going to go right up into my inner corner because I'm not comfortable doing that. I don't think that's a good idea, but I feel like just doing kind of the little bit of the outside is totally fine for me. And I'm also super numb. Some people have almost like, it's almost like some people the numbing doesn't work very well on them. But I'm telling you, I'm super numb and it's working just fine on me, so... I had one client, uh, we almost didn't finish because she was so uncomfortable. And you'll notice this takes quite a lot of passes to get your result. And it's a lot of, like you can see me doing now, it's a lot of like rubbing and cleaning. And uh, she said that she felt the pain the entire time, which I think she was just like immune to the numbing. I'm definitely not. I feel the numbing more than I feel the uh, the pain, you know, so. Okay, so this is a nice first pass. I'm gonna go over the top like I did on the other eye. Some Vaseline on this little Q-tip. And you want to get all the ink out because you want to see what kind of work you've done. And you can't see until it's completely clean. And this ink will hide on you uh, because it's so black, it's so dark. So like all that ink came out and it seemed like it was clean. But there is definitely a line over my lash line. If you have really sensitive eyes, this is a really abrasive procedure. Um, just in that somebody else, because obviously you wouldn't do this at home, somebody else will be constantly getting into your eyes and rubbing and cleaning and pulling your eyes in weird directions that you've probably never experienced before. So like you need to take this into account in getting permanent makeup. You need to know what the procedure's like. And uh No, think about it before you jump in. So this is a nice base. I'm gonna go to my other eye. I'm gonna clean that numbing off. And I'm just gonna make sure that there's no ink lingering in my lash line. My background is in makeup, so um, I've been working on myself. For how old am I? I'm 26. I've been working on myself for like 11 years. So I know exactly where my liner goes, uh, but if you don't have any background in cosmetics and you're like a brand new permanent makeup artist, you would have to map it and like honestly just have somebody else do it for you because you have to know what you like. It's not just about like getting it on. You have to know like the style that you like and 
how far to bring it in and it's so crazy the <laughs> my lower lash line is numb too but it's getting a little bit tender on the top so you can see it's looking pretty beautiful if I do say so myself especially with the tinted eyelashes I think if you're blonde and you want to go through with this procedure you should go ahead and get your lashes tinted like a week before don't do the same week because it's just too sensitive to put so many chemicals and then tattoo over top you know your eyes will be killing you okay so I went in with the Vaseline got into the lash line and now I'm just gonna wipe it away and then I'm going to continue working on this eye because it is really numb. And I like to switch whenever I'm feeling uncomfortable. So it's not that it feels good, but it doesn't hurt. Feeling starting to come back. There's always going to be a risk um, tattooing around the eye because of just human error. And the risk is probably greater doing your own. However, if you're a pro and you feel like you trust your ability more than somebody else's, then just do it because like you could mess up I could mess up on somebody else they could mess up on me I could mess up on myself but like to be honest I'm way more comfortable doing my own than somebody else I don't want somebody else with a needle near my eye however like I have a lot of faith in myself because of my background in makeup and I just I know my own face so well that from okay, I'm gonna go ahead and numb this eye because this is getting really tender all of a sudden it's like that numbing is gone it's nothing like say like a lip injection or like that shit hurts this doesn't hurt it just it's just like a sensitive area I'm gonna take a big long nap after this so let's go back into the other side <sighs> okay here we go I didn't know what this was going to feel like and uh, and I was scared I wouldn't be able to get through it but it's almost like I can hear the tattooing better than I can feel it. It's super strange but when you're um, when you're numb like this like you can feel the needle buzzing and like you can feel the pressure but I can't really feel the rest of it and it just I guess it just depends on the person because after my one client who was in like major major pain I thought for sure I would not be able to go through with it but I feel 100% fine this eye though this one is starting to get a little tender and it's still numbing back down and it's super black ink so yeah it's it's a messy procedure ink is everywhere if you come to your permanent makeup appointment in a full beat it might get messed up
For me, it hurts the most um, out here. But it makes sense because it's more like actual eyelid space. Get some really good clean going. I feel like it's it's all the rubbing too, the friction. That's uncomfortable because when I'm tattooing, it doesn't hurt, but it kind of hurts. Like it's starting to get tender on this eye as well, like the cleanup, especially. Because no matter how you look at it, it is a wound. And it hurts to clean up a wound, honestly. Hi, so my camera did die just as I suspected it would. Um, my camera doesn't really do that well with super long videos, so after 30 minutes it just sort of shuts off, even if it's not completely dead. So I wanted to show you my finished results. I finished about an hour ago. And I've just been letting my eyes have a little bit of a rest because I did probably like five or six passes on each eye and just going back and forth with the details. So I'm just going to zoom you in and show you the after.